This is the last question of the extended response for exam two. And it's concerning the function which we defined previously, but we'll write it again. V of t is d times e to the power of t on three plus 10 minus d times e to the negative two t on three. Now, we're told a few facts. We're told that it has a local minimum at this point. So immediately we can say that V of A must equal M, because this point must lie on the curve. And we can also say that the derivative evaluated at A equals, well, the derivative evaluated at A must equal zero because it's a local minimum. So we've got this fact because it lies on the curve. We've got that the derivative at A must be zero because it's a local minimum. And we want to find M in terms of this thing here. And then we can find the value of K after that. So what do we do? Well, we can sub in A we know that m equals, what have we got here? We've got m equals d times e to the power of a on 3 plus 10 minus d e to the negative 2 a on 3. We know that. We can take the derivative of this thing. You can do it with your cas if you like. So taking the derivative, we get d on 3 e to the power of t on 3 plus 2 thirds d minus 10 e to the negative 2 t on 3. So we've got this derivative and we know that at a that this must equal 0. So let's put that in. So we know that d times e to the a on 3 all over 3. So we're taking this expression and we're subbing in A, we know that that quantity equals zero. Okay, well, let's see, we've got, we've got A and D in this expression. We've got A and D in this expression. So we can call this equation one and we'll call that equation two. So what we really wanna do is we want to take equation two we want to make A the subject. And then we should be able to sub it into equation one. So let's look at that on our CAS. Let's go through that process. We need to define V of T. So let's do that. Define V of T equals D times E to the power of T on three. Oh, that one's glitched out. Let's try again. So we'll go through that process. Okay, so let's define that function. V of t equals d times e to the power of t on 3. And then we'll add 10 minus d times e to the negative 2 times t on 3. So we've defined our function. Let's check to see if that derivative is right. Menu one, one. Let's define the derivative dv of t equals the derivative of v of t. Okay, we can check that now. dv of t 
let's check that, see if that's right. Okay, good, so that derivative's correct. Now, what do we need to do? We need to take this derivative here and we need to equate it to zero, but make A the subject. We can do that on our CAS. So if we, we really want to solve for this derivative when we sub in A, we want it to equal zero, but we want the subject to be A. There we are, so we've got a value for A. A equals the natural log of negative two times D minus 10 on D. So we know that A equals the natural log negative two D minus 10 on D. Right, so we've got that quantity. Now what we can do is we can sub A into equation one. So let's take a, and we can sub it into equation one. We can do it a bit quicker because we can just we know that equation one is our original function. Let's take a. Let's clean that up a bit. It's being a bit slow. Clean that up. Hop over here. We could have defined the answer. That would have been a quicker way to go. Okay, here we are. Now we get an expression that's going to be useful to us. Let's have a look at this expression. Copy it out. The expression we get is m equals negative 3 on 2 d. Oh, apologies. Let's have a look at that expression once again. So we get... No, that's the right one. We get m equals negative 3 on 2d to the power of 2 thirds times 2d minus 10 to the power of a third. I know that's m. There's no m here, but we know that's m because we're dealing with equation 1. So that almost looks like that, but we need to do a bit of transposing. So you might think the k value is negative three, it's not. We need to, first of all, take out that negative sign. So we get 10 minus d to the power of a third. You can see the negative sign's been taken out. Now that quantity there, we, let's expand that one third. So we get 3 on 2 times d to the power of 2 thirds times 2 to the power of a third, 10 minus d to the power of a third as well. Okay, so what you can do is you can take out those constants and you can combine them together. So we get 3 times 2 to the power of a third on 2 times d to the two thirds, and then we get 10 minus d to the power of one third. Now it looks a lot more like that, and we can read off our k value. So our k value is that quantity there. So we can say k equals three times the cube root of on two. Now, you could have done that on CAS, you could have actually put it in as a system of equations, but for me, that's just the quickest way for me to do it and understand what I'm doing. So you could have actually put it in as a system of equations and solve for k, but that way is showing some understanding there. And that one's just for two marks. I hope you did well on your paper, and if you have been, thanks for watching.